Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Painting and Photography channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer, I shot this while I create. I made this image yesterday and uh, continue from yesterday. Well, on this image, I made a couple effect images, like uh, overlay effect, change the blending mode, of the pencil drawing type image change to overlay to get this image and uh, the other one next one is this pin light effect change blend mode of pencil drawing type image over original image mix this image then I have well this is white layer but the uh, base image is color burn effect over original image color burn on um, pencil drawing well on this is actually luminosity effect layer to get this kind of reddish real amber strong amber color image then I add white layer with mask to get this image I guess I finished this image yesterday I fixed this but I want to use well, change the uh, different effect, so I decide to continue from this image today. Well, let's get started. Okay, I fixed this image, but I think it's kind of too reddish on shadow side of the main subject the perfume bottle. So, well, instead of fixing this color, because it's kind of easy to add some like uh, let's see if I fix this image then just reduce this reddish color on shadow side that's not that exciting image I mean I mean uh, why well, we can do that but I want to try this overlay effect image and also maybe this pin light effect image as a base then I'm gonna add some overlay effect over this image that's kind of I just want to curious okay let me let me try to make that image okay uh, pin light effect image this is the base image right no more hundred percent so we don't see the images underneath this is the base image pin light effect now I have overlay effect here then uh, I may well I'm gonna make mask to see this pin light effect so make mask then select brush let me see use that uh, drawing to evolve this is pretty neat brush I, I like this so to mask this image to show up overlay effect yeah this is the mask right I'm gonna invert this now I'm gonna reveal this mask to show this overlay effect image okay let me see This brush has pretty strong edge of the texture, so just to reveal like this. Now we have some saddle colors, and also we have this much texture, so now I want to show up some more colors well this is the max because this is pin light effect image now I want to show just a touch more dark okay maybe pretty much okay now we have background like a 
I'm not going to use this white layer now, just turn it off. And uh, this is luminosity effect damage. Let me see if I turn this one off. Okay, we have nice background color, so I want to show this over this image. Okay, let me see. I'm going to move this, select this image as a base image, right? So make group. This is a new base image. Today's base. So I'm going to rename, okay, base image group. Now I'm going to move this group just over this original image group. Okay, this is, okay, this is original group. Original images group. And then uh, just turn it off. Now this is the base, base image group today. And then now we see this white layer. Then luminosity effect. Well, I don't want to see now, so I just turn it off. And uh, this is white layer. Well, just turn it off. Then this is color, which I add over this. This is pretty nice. Let's just leave it this. And uh, okay, I'm gonna move this original image. Move over. Well, under the under this color layer. And then let me see. Turn it on. Just use normal image. Make mask. Then same brush, evolve, to mask, invert this mask. Then reveal to show this original image, right? Okay, go from real thin, 40%, little bit bigger size. Okay, from here, sort of selective masking. How much you want to show this original image from this, right? Okay, this Evolve has pretty rough texture, so make it a little bit, a uh, little bit smoother texture. So I'm gonna change brush. Let me see, sketching to Bonobo chalk. I guess this one has uh, just a touch more smoother. Okay, it's kind of smooth. Now I want to see these colors. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay, let me move this white layer. Let me see, move this white layer. Let me check it out. Move all the way top. Hmm, it's gonna show the edge. So let me see under this color layer. Yeah, this way we're gonna leave this color over the white layer. Then uh, mask this white layer to show more details around here. Okay, so show this details. Okay, getting kind of interesting. I want to emphasize some colors here. More blue or color. Mm, 
Okay. So, all right. Just leave it this way, and uh, and I I may well use this pencil joint type image and get out of this group. Move all the way up. Delete this original no group, and I'm going to change blend mode. To let me see, darken shows outside lines, so change to linear bar. Still shows outside drawing, so change to color bar. Goes a little bit darker. Yeah, I think this is pretty much nice. I'm not using this luminosity effect image, color burn. It goes real reddish image, so... But I may read, I mean, uh, use this image some, not on this perfume bottle, this is kind of reddish, so maybe for outside, I mean surrounding of the perfume bottle, it's maybe a little bit darker contrast up, like this leaf, so I'm going to make mask, then invert mask. Now I'm going to reveal with same one upper chalk. Let's see about this little bit contrast, not on this bottle, just outside. Yeah. I think that's all I need from this luminosity effect image. Well, this is base image. Let me see. This base image is pin light effect and overlay effect with mask to make this base image for today. And I add original image so much with mask. Then I add Luminosity effect image with mask. Just leaves. Then I add color and white layer with mask. Now just to touch, contrast up, pencil joint type image, change to color burn. Yeah. Well, this is it for today. Yep. I think that's it for today and uh, thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate for you guys support and uh, well I hope this movie is gonna give you some kind of idea for your creative work and uh, thank you again and you guys have a nice day and see you next time. Bye now. Ciao. Thank you.